Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different's World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there are having a wonderful day like your girl and if not, manifest plan and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all is surely coming to you for sure. And if this is your first, second, or third time to my YouTube channel, welcome you guys. Happy to have you and before you leave, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Different's World and you come and learn about your girl. And speaking of coming and learn about your girl, a little bit more about my background, I'm an author motivational speaker and CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC, in which we strive to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain you guys all at once. So again, first, second, or third time, it don't matter. Just hit the subscribe button for your girl, yeah? <laughs> okay, you guys. Uh, and as well as Happy Wednesday, you guys. Finally, it's hump day. We're making it through, you guys. The second to last week of before March is out, and so just trying to get it in you, uh, on, on Wednesdays, you guys. Guys, know if you've been rocking out with your girl, I usually drop my podcast collaboration interviews, whatever you want to call it. Um, I drop them on Wednesday, so this one's going to be no different. This will be um, an interview I did a while back uh, with the lovely Miss Rorana uh, Willis Brown of the Are You Free Enough podcast. I had a very good time talking with her about you know energies and of course my book What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift and sharing my background and my history as well as advocating for mental health wellness. Um, I did this a while ago and so uh, this is actually when I was first starting out and just learning um, how to you know promote myself and get out there and market myself. So listening back on this interview and watching how far I've come and how far I've gotten to go, it's just a, it's, it's an uh, amazing experience in itself. And so without further ado, you guys, I mean, popping my chops, uh, here it is, check it out. And once we come back on, I'll let you guys know a little bit more about what's going on in the difference. Well, yeah, here it is. Welcome, welcome to you out there. So let me sit back and pause and wait for you to share that live. That's right. Tonight, we are going to have a ball. I have two guests come in. And I oftentimes says, get your pen, your paper, your water, whatever. So I am ready. Because we have two guests on tonight. And those two guests coming on tonight, like I always said, this, this must be my disclaimer, forever and forever, amen. I don't put them together because of the title of their books. I only put them together because the universe says so. So without further ado, I want to introduce our very first guest. I will allow you, allow her to tell you where she's tuning in from. The second guest, I will let him stay for last. This is the best for last, I tell you. <laughs> but I won't tell you why I saved him for last. I have one man on one seat. So I am going to put our very first guest up today. And her name says it all, different. So my dearest dear, let me have you. Oh, I you. Hey, friend. How are you? Thank you I so much for having me. Hello to good. your audience, everybody out there. I'm so happy to be on your show. So grateful for the opportunity to share my story, my testimony, and, you know, my new book and my business. I'm just so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I get excited on Thursday. I love Thursday. I call it Thanksgiving Thursday. So I love okay, me some Thursday. Go. Woo, woo, woo. Mm -hmm. So I always, this is a question. So welcome to this episode. And I, my very first question is always this. How are you doing? Well, as long as I wake up, I, I say I'm blessed. I mean, because it could always, the, the mantra I live by is it could always be 10 times worse. Or, you know, somebody got out there got a 10 times worse than you. So, you know, just wake up, be blessed especially with this pandemic, me, myself, and my family alone. I've lost four people this year. And so it's just a wake-up call for me, and I'm just grateful for the opportunity, every little thing, you know, everything matters. It's, it's, it's just little bitty things that, that matter most now. You know, this pandemic has just, you know, 
gave me a slice of humble pie I've never ever yes. had before. Right. And so I, I just, you know, everybody out there that's just watching and listening, you know, just peace and blessings be to you. I pray for you and just hope that God's to cover you in his blood and keeps you in the palm of his protection for you and yours. And so you asked the question how I'm doing. I'm blessed. How are you, friend? <laughs> That's right. I'm, I am doing great because you are doing great. Yes, I like it. If you are blessed, I'm blessed. We all blessed. We in this blessing thing Amen. together. Yes, that's how we do it. Because I oftentimes say this, people don't really take that question seriously. They really don't. Because mm -hmm. it's so it's so fluid. You know, they use it so fluid. How are you? Mm -hmm. How are you? No, it's a serious question. Like, how are you doing seriously? Yeah. For me, it could be worse, but hey, I'm blessed, so <laughs> that's that's just my response. But yes. thank you again for having me on your show. I, I'm 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 in your world now, so just however you want to do it, I'm I'm rocking in your <laughs> so uh, yeah. I'll let you so leave. You know, we... you ask whatever you want. Yes. So what I am going to do, I am going to give you the opportunity to let us know how you pronounce your name and to let us know where you're tuning in from and give us a little okay. bit of who you are while I exit okay. the stage. You have the stage, my dear. Oh, thank you, love. Thank you, Queen. Thank you so much. Yes, everybody. Um, hey, to again, you guys, my name is Different, spelled D-I-F-E-R-N-T. And a little bit about myself. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm 30 years old. Um, I've grown up all over. Oh, I moved all over Houston because of my upbringing, if you will. So any place in Houston, you know, you name it, I know where it's at. Um, I guess if, as far as, you know, my hobbies, I love reading, writing, you know, doing yoga, meditating. Um, I love anything daredevil-like. I love ATV, zip lining. I'm a big advocate with traveling. I love to travel. Before the pandemic, I got close to about 50 countries that I had uh, been to. And so um, traveling, I do MMA. Um, before the pandemic, again, I did a lot of cage, well, not a lot of cage fighting, so to speak, but I did cage fighting and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and I still do, but however, I just had to focus my, my main goals is with my book, you know, that I have working on. So, uh, with that being said, I guess as far as my background and upbringing, um, coming up, uh, I had a tough upbringing from the time that I was 11, or by the time that I was 11, I have already ended up on the street. It was homeless, uh, me and my family, and it stayed that way for about three years, living from the piddle to post, and by the age of 14, I was secretly placed in foster care by a relative, and uh, my other family members didn't know where I was for the first six months, and um, within that time frame, I found out that CPS in the state of Texas, if you age out of foster care, um, the state of Texas would pay for your tuition fee waiver. So right then and there, a light bulb went out in my head and I decided to use my book smarts to elevate my street smarts and stay in CPS for the next four years so that I'd have a way to go to college. And so that's just what I did. And I ended up going to Sam Houston State University uh, and started my own student organization, their title paid for it. And there, that's where the uh, seed was planted for motivational speaking. Uh, for me, that's where, you know, we went to different high schools around the area and talking with them about the importance of education and um, uh, sharing my story with them to, you know, help be inspired and get them motivated to, you know, overcome whatever that they are going through. Um, and so I also, I graduated, you know, with my bachelor's degree in international business with uh, two minors in economics and business communication. I also have my master's degree in entrepreneurship, as well as I'm a Texas real estate agent and now a CEO of my own business. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much me in a nutshell, if you will. <laughs> I try to come in every single week with my pen and my notebook. <laughs> and I try to keep up with my guests and what they're accomplishing and what I need to celebrate. And I am trying to keep up as fast as I could with you, honey. Yeah, I'm a fast talker. I'm sorry about but that. <laughs> listen, I'm like, what, what, wait. I'm like, wait, okay. What, what, wait, wait. But honey, I just want to celebrate you. <laughs> I just want Thank to celebrate you. all of that. All of That's that. That's because of God. Because of God. Yes. Not me. It's, it's God. It's, it's His yes. work flowed through me. 
And I'm just an example. That's what I pray before I leave this earth in my life. It stands as an example of the way, you know, God can move through you and, you know, how he can take you from the back into the front. No matter what you've gone through, you know, what, no matter what your status was, and no matter what family you were born into, he can take you from out of, out of any, you know, poor situation. He can take you and put you in, you know, a situation that, that would thrust you and your families, you know, years and years and generations forward. And that's just what he's doing for me, you know, after years of planning and, and manifesting and preparing, it's finally coming to a head. And I'm so excited to elaborate more on that with you and yes. how it, it all came into play with my book and my business and just how how, how being spiritually in tune with, with God and, 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 and attacking my mental health and getting real with that and how it, how it all into, you know, with who I am and what I'm about and what I want to bring to the world. And so I'm so excited to, to talk with you about these things. I am excited. Look, I am excited too. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. Listen, when God is in it, listen here. When God is in it, all that we've been through was for a purpose. Amen. All that we survive is for her purpose. All that we are going through right now is still for a purpose. It's just that we never ever could see it because we are so distracted by all the pulls and the play and, and the poking and all the stuff. We got all so caught up in that. So we never see the true purpose of what is happening. And, and when, I mean you right about you that. Jean. You were right. You mentioned at age eleven you were already homeless. No yeah. one at age eleven thinking, "Oh, I have a purpose." <laughs> right? Nobody's thinking that, like, "Oh, what's my purpose of being homeless?" But you persevered yeah. through it. Oh, trust me, it, it was it was it's battles, it, and it definitely is now. You know, I, I'm I'm dealing with those issues as we speak. I'm not a perfect person. I no. definitely, you know, with all the accomplishments, don't get it twisted. You know, I, I have my faults. You know, I have my ways. I'm a work in progress. And so, anybody out there who's listening, please know I'm not perfect. You know, I'm here right. to make mistakes. But you know, what you see is what you get, and I try to put good into the world. I'm a very big believer in you know putting good karma out into work of what you put out is what you get back so what i try to do right by people and and just you know say true to myself and my beliefs so that's just what it is for me and it's but, simple um, because if you plant a banana tree you're not going to get orange mm -hmm. there you go and for it's me it did where all this started and stemmed from if you ask the question you know what what came about writing the book have to take it back, I guess, to my childhood, if you will, and and, and bits of you know what what transpired um, um, coming up in that situation. You know, for a lot of people, I'm, I'm sure some would understand, but for me, chaos was normal, if you will, coming up in that environment. So when I got taken out of that situation and placed in foster care, I was actually placed in a good good home uh, in school districts. However, for me, I felt it was too good to be true. And so I would, you know, decide to be the captain of my own ship, if you will, and decide when it's time for it to go down and just basically would sabotage those relationships, get kicked out and just push people away and just got that, that reputation that I was just a hard person to deal with, if you will. And those type of, you know, characteristics and, and, and actions stemmed into my adulthood. So even though I had, you know, all those accomplishments under my belt and I was looking good on the outside on the inside I was I was dying you know and so um and I was squandering those opportunities I had coming my way as an adult you know because of you know those the what are those nasty habits I picked up at in my childhood mm -hmm. and it got to a point to where one of those situations I had to where I squandered an opportunity that I had could have thrust me forward you know I could have been famous if you will or you know being a millionaire if you will if i wanted right to, right you know, but it's just i was all part of god's plan and timing what you have to learn and be grateful for but it was that situation to where you know i had a meeting with you know a very well connected person but you know still dealing with these demons in the back of my head telling me you know i'm not worthy mm -hmm. of it they're not gonna like me i'm too country or too ghetto i you know talk too fast they're not gonna you know just those those words so what i did i i purposely showed up late and it left a sour taste in their mouth. And this is around like, you know, probably seven or eight years ago that this happened. But to this day, you know, I, I, I regret it. I, I just hate that I did that. But 
that right there in a situation, it forced me to look at myself and face the ugly truth and accept the fact that I needed to go and fix my issues that, that stemmed on from my childhood, all the you know mistakes I made in my adulthood. I needed to go address that and fix that. And so for me, I had to dismiss that notion. You know, in our community, a lot of people say, you know, black people don't do therapy. You know, mm. we don't talk about our issues, you know, coming up in that background, you know. And that's a talk. problem. For some, you know, what goes on in this house stays in this house. So you don't talk about your feelings or in your emotions, you keep it bottled up. So I just started, I just said, bump that. I'm going to go get help. I'm going to go fix my issues and talk about it. No longer feel shame or guilt for doing that. And it wasn't until I did that that I was able to, you know, break those mental chains and release myself from that mental bondage and was able to truly work on myself and started to love myself and, and just forgive myself also ultimately as well and, and started to move on from that past. And with that being said, um, I got real in, in going into therapy and been doing so consecutively for around two years now. And I'm just proud and happy to say that, not ashamed to say that and anybody out there listening who, who who's going through, you know, same issues that I've gone through, dealing with depression, anxiety, or even, you know, suicide. But this month being suicide prevention awareness, I also, part of my business, we talk about issues that are, you know, considered taboo that people don't like to talk about. We talk right. about these issues such. And so um, <clears throat> for those out there who are struggling and going through, you know, and need somebody to talk to or need some, you know, help and resources, you know, I have the number to, you know, suicide prevention line. If you listen, it's 1-800-273-8255. Again, the number is 1-800-273-8255. You know, it's okay to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay. Go get help. You know, go, go whatever, whatever it is that you need to do to fix what you're going through, go do it whether it be talking with a family member, a friend, a therapist, or finding a hobby or something, you know, looking up resources online, calling, you know, the suicide prevention line, you know, something. It, it, it gets better once you finally admit the truth to yourself that whatever you went through in your past, it wasn't your fault and it was out of your control, but it is your problem to deal with. And so once we, you know, as an adult, accept that and, 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 and face that back, then that's when I, I know for myself, I was able to, you know, move forward with it in life. And talking with my therapist, uh, he encouraged me to channel, again, one of the hobbies that I talked about with writing. And so um, I would be writing little affirmations and being stuck in a house during the pandemic, mind you, um, doing this and journaling, uh, boom, May 25th, 2020 happens, the, the, the day George Floyd died. And so... With him being from the same place I'm from, he's from Third Ward, I'm from Fifth Ward, and um, it being right next to each other, I felt it was convenient that you know I can go and get involved and have my voice being heard. And you know, um, however, when it all came down to it, I couldn't because you know I wanted my voice to be heard longer than just in that moment of time, but no longer after I'm gone. And so, just being spiritually in tune and talking with God and asking Him, what is it that I can do to you know, have my voice being heard and, you know, make my mark and, you know, my contribution to society as well as long ago praying to be the one in my family to break the generational curse and create generational wealth. That's what, you know, this is what he showed me, you know, over time he would, you know, send me little messages and watching movies and talking with people and, you know, seeing things here and there. This is what I came up with, you know, what if a controversial paradigm shift, uh, this book, it does include a disclaimer. It is written, you know, for mature audience or it's intended for mature audience only. It does contain sensitive content. Uh, the reason why it was written, it was written to inform and encourage thought-provoking and constant conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. It's done through graphic and provocative illustrations and the way that I have set it up, it's that it details on controversial deaths and, and events that have occurred in America within the African-American community. And I have it categorized in four main paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. And within those main paradigms, there are sub-paradigms, so to ask those questions. So for instance, in historical paradigm, I ask the question, what if in 1619, Africans started dealing in illegal slave trading, and whereas they kidnapped millions of English men, women, and children and brought them into, excuse me, brought them onto slave ships into America? 
So I ask those type of questions and then I have those illustrations showing you the picture, you know, basically race role reversal, excuse me, you know, showing you, you know, what if this happened to you and your ancestors? Or what if this was happening or still happening to you and your people in present times? You know, would this be okay? If not, then why is it okay or justified when it happens to, you know, an African-American person? And so with that, that was the issue, you know, bringing ahead and talking about, you know, systemic racism. And so I do this, uh, started writing, you know, little by little in June 2020. And um, I finished it, the writing portion by uh, December 2020. And I contact the lawyer, my lawyer for it, and she reads the manuscript and she gets back with me and lets me know, you know, hey, I think this is awesome. It's going to do great. But what's the name of your business? And I tell her, uh, I can't tell her my book. And so um, I, uh, she, she's like, I don't think I'm saying you need to have a, a, a small business if you're going to sell a product to the public. And so right there, you know, I'm hitting the ground running. And, and one thing about life when it teaches you is just when you think you know something, I just got the hang of it. It comes through and knocks you off your high horse and reminds you you don't know a thing. And so from December 2020, from March 2021st, I had to hit the ground running, just learning uh, everything about owning a small business in, in Texas. Uh, I had my, my mind set up on making, doing real estate, if you will, but God had other plans for me and it became more than just about the book. It, it transpired and grew into, you know, me having a business. And so, uh, again, talking with God and just having that spirit of discernment and, and, and praying with him and asking him to show me the way to what business that, you know, is going to be suitable for me to, to share with the world that's going to make an impact. And this is what I came up with, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services that, educa excuse me, that educates, entertains, and inspires all at once. And so um, we also have a motto that we live by. It's called Manifest, Plan, and Prepare. So in delving deeper into that, it is our theory, if you will, that in order for one person to gain guaranteed success in life, they must, one, manifest and speak into existence what it is that they want in life and remove all fear and doubt and place with faith in their heart and mind that, that what they believe and speak into existence will come to pass. Uh, start taking up action as far as like writing it down on paper, speaking it out loud, you know, saying affirmations to yourself. Secondly, move on to planning it, you know, plan what it is that you want to accomplish and achieve in life. Thirdly, prepare for what you're about to receive. And what I mean by prepare is it means to get your house in order before whatever it is that you are praying, asking God to bless you with. Make sure that you have your house in order and that you're ready to receive that blessing, that manifestation. So if it means going to fix your finance, getting your credit uh, fixed, uh, getting your health in order, mending those broken, uh, broken bridges, uh, getting your mental health in check, uh, whatever it is, you know, you have to plan and prepare for that so that whenever you receive whatever it is that you're after, you don't squander it or you'll be able to handle it better. And so that's what we mean when we say manifest, plan, prepare. Um, with the pandemic, uh, for me, like long well, as I told you, I've already lost four people, you know, this year alone. And what it has taught me and it should has taught the world is that, you know, life is not promised and, and tomorrow you hear one day and you go on the next. And so for those who are out there who feeling like they, you know, it's their time to achieve greatness or they're meant for greatness, it's now or never to go after your wildest dreams. I, I try to tell the audience, you know, it's time to reprogram your mind and you have that mindset that you're trying to get rich during the pandemic or you're going to die trying. Um, for me, I always joke with my friends, telling them, you know, you either on that come back like you on that you on that come up like Cardi B, or they come back like Robert D. There is no more in between. So for me, I'm on my come up, if you will. Um, and so that's just a message that I try to bring with the audience, as far as you know, the service side of Third Eye Entertainment. Again, we offer motivational speaking. Um, I do a travel vlog as well as a food vlog and vlog uh, detailing my travel experiences is with the food and culture and so as well as uh, talking about those issues that I mentioned before that are considered taboo and people don't like to talk about here at Third Eye Unity 
in the difference world, we talk about those issues. We bring it to light issues such as, you know, injustice, systemic racism. Uh, we also talk about, again, suicide prevention awareness, mental health awareness, uh, domestic relationship, so anything including child sex trafficking, LGBTQ issues, um, domestic relationships, things of that nature, you know, any any issues that's all often swept under the rug or, you know, people don't like to talk about, we push that envelope, we talk about it because those are the issues that are holding us back and those are the issues that are going to continue to hold us back unless we talk about it and address it and then come up with ways to 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 change them. And so that's my contribution in, in a whole to what I can do to have my voice being heard and and um <clears throat> and just having my name, you know, being stamped on society long after I'm gone. So uh, that's what it is. <laughs> that is true, and that's and that's the whole point. We should always build something that we should live on when we are no longer here. Mm-hmm. That's the whole point. Because if we are not willing to live on, what is the purpose of building? You know, what is the purpose of that? You have to, you're not building just for today. You're building for the next generation that's coming behind you to say, mm-hmm. okay, I learned something. Exactly, exactly. So quiet. with this book, Again, I don't mean to cut you off. So, again, with Obesity with this book, although it is set up in a gritty and grimy way, the ultimate message of this book, if you, again, it's intended for a mature audience, so if you understand it, you can muster through the first three main paradigms and make it to hypothetical. You see the main message of the book is to encourage, you know, not only conversations about these issues, but unity and compassion for one another and for mankind. We are all going through something, you know, internally, whether it be, you know, with our health, our finances and relationships, you know, sexual orientation, whatever it is, we are all struggling with something. So why not be kind to one another when you're walking past them instead of passing judgment on them just based off the way they look, you know? And so with this book, it is my hope and prayer that over time, I'm well aware that, you know, change doesn't happen overnight and it takes right, more right. than one person. But it is my hope and it prayer starts that with somewhere. this book, it starts somewhere, you know, maybe not for this generation, but what if this is the generation that plans to see mm-hmm. for the next generation and they carry the torch on and on. And so, again, just if I can do something, you know, it may not be much. This book may go nowhere fast. I don't know, you know, if it. Uh, I'm pretty sure people are going to have, you know, uh, negative things to say about it. But again, what I've what I've learned, you know, from my previous one, number 45, is that you go where you celebrate it, not where you tolerate it. And what that means is, you know, with him, he had over 75 million people condoning his his actions, and yet and still. And so, what that resonates to me as, no matter what you stand for, what you believe in, what you say, or how you act, it's always going to be somebody to, you know, condone and support what you're doing. And so no matter what, that's where you, you gravitate towards. So you go where you celebrate it, not where you tolerate it. So with this book, for those who are out there saying that that may you want to try to get that notion that this book is, is some sort of tool or instrument used to encourage, you know, the black community to uprise against the white community, no, it's not simply you know a book that's meant to push the envelope meant to make you think in ways to make you uncomfortable it may get you a reaction but the point of that reaction is whether you're talking about it good or bad your bell has been rung and you can't unring the bell and that's the point you know when you share your opinion somebody else is going to give their rebuttal it doesn't matter that's how exactly the conversation starts and that's the point of this book is to start the conversation and, and, so, I, and I see but if it goes nowhere of- fast at least, at least they, they talked about it. At least it's been stated. At least it's been acknowledged or said. And so they may not get the message right now, but later on down the road, you know, yeah. what, you never know. So for me, I didn't want to live with the what if factor if I didn't write this book. And right. So, what if so he didn't? Right. What yeah, if? So. What if we didn't hear your story? What if you didn't write the book? And you mentioned something about paradigm shift in the title of your book. To the listeners, can you explain to them what is paradigm shift? So paradigm in itself is, is 
I don't want to confuse or mix in the twine the words, but what I got from it, it's just a situation that that changes from one side to another, if you will. So, and the paradigms can be, you know, applied to any, not just with, you know, racism. You can apply it to gender. You can apply it to, you know, uh, uh, work equality or sexual orientation. You know, so different paradigms, if you will. So the paradigm that I'm talking about is racism and we're shifting the race. So instead of happening to black people, it's happening to white people. Mm -hmm. And so, and I, I say the word controversial because it's gonna bring a lot of controversy, if you will. This issues that I'm talking about is controversial. They're very true. Um, the only thing that's different is this is a race role reversal. It's happening to white people instead of black people. But the book does include a disclaimer as well as references to uh, counter any uh, attempts of people saying that this is a defamation or a slander book or is spreading lies. These, it's not, these are all actual facts and events that Absolutely, have occurred yeah. in America within the African-American community. The only difference is it's just a paradigm shift in, re in regards to race. And that's the whole point in life. The life says you get life and you must know how to shift it. You can't just go one way at all times. Because for you to grow, you have to detour somewhere. You have to break down, come back up, go that way, go that way. So life is not about you just standing there in one position. And when we're, when we're talking about racism, racism been around for years and years and centuries and going on and on and on and on. But now we have to come to a point where it's said. What is causing this racism among us? Why is it that this thing is still going on? Why is it that it's not stopping? Right? So these are the questions that we have to look into to say, come on, this has been going on. So why is it that it's not stopping? Why is it not stopping? And how can it stop? How can it stop? And, and that's, where, that's where it goes to it goes to, as we say, paradigm shift, but I'm going to use the word mindset. Because mm -hmm. it goes to how you, how you go to setting your mind on something, right? So if you have a set mind on a specific thing, that is what's going to um, involve and what is going to evolve from that one specific thing. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at racism in a certain way, Racism going to stay in that certain way. Exactly. But when we learn to so share, for those who, who, who refuse to acknowledge or see that racism is still alive and it's very well, you know, yeah. existence and still ongoing. For those yes. who, who, who say, who use the excuses, oh, I don't see color. Or if racism is alive, it's only because you guys keep, keep, keep me alive by talking about it. Okay, well, how about this? How about a little paradigm shift? How about we, you know, switch it up for you guys? What if this happened to you and your ancestors instead of ours? What if we did this to you and your people? What if this was still going on to you and your people? These type of issues, these controversial deaths where white police officers or police officers in general are shooting unarmed black people and basically getting away with murder. Mm -hmm. You know, how is it that, you know, a black person's running away or have or, or unarmed, they have their hands up and, you know, you riddle them with bullets and yet you fear for your life. Yeah, how can you fear? So, yeah, you know, we we live in a, a place where you know we walk outside. You know, we, we basically have to be cautious because we can, you know, pass by Karen and she can cost us our life. And so, right. again, what if this happened to you, your people, instead of ours? And so that's just the basic question. I set it up in you know a, a rudimentary form. You know, it's it's a very short book. It's not long. It's only you know I think a total of. Like around 80 pages, if you will, collectively, the reading wise, and it's very just short, you know, straight forth questions and then the illustrations. And so it's not going to bore you. It will keep you entertained. It will educate you and hopefully motivate and inspire you. That's what we do here at Third Eye Entity. So if you're just tuning in, the book is called What If. <laughs> that is a very interesting title. It's called yeah. What If. So what if, if you're just tuning in, we're talking about the book title, which is called What If. And yeah, what, what is if, a controversial paradigm shift? Yes, yes. So listen, the book is just the book was just released. Was it just released today? 
it's gonna it's pre-sale today so okay so her book is on pre-sale so you yes, know what pre-sale listen it's on pre-sale people so i'm going to ask one quick question before we wind up because you mentioned something about traveling see i love to travel too yeah. Okay. So because Where's I love to travel, you got an island accent. Too. So you're from the Caribbean, either Trinidad, <laughs> Jamaica, or Bahamas. One of those. Parts. Somewhere. Oh, I, I say like either the Bahamas. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I, I love. Oh yeah, I love to travel. That was my passion, even as a kid. You know, one that's one of the man. That's how I learned about manifestation and speaking things into existence before I even knew what it was. As a kid, I would say to myself and to my family, I'm going to travel all over the world when I get Listen, I represent this, everybody. That. That's why I tell people. Look, I represent everybody. <laughs> yeah, but that's, just, that's just what it was for me. And and when I... <laughs> you're right. And when I got that opportunity, like I said, in, in college, I got the opportunity to travel abroad to South Korea. That was the first country that I, I got to. And uh, within that experience, I went to eight other different countries and then the travel bug was just born. It just, it, it didn't stop. That taught me that anything is possible when you put your mind to it, when you manifest and speak it into existence, when you write it out on paper and, and, and post it up on your wall and, 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 and say it to yourself day in and day out. It, those things, it comes to you. So whatever it is in life that you, you are wanting to achieve, it's possible. You know, you just have to manifest, plan, and prepare. And whatever it is that you want to go after, take it serious. You know, if you want people to take you serious, you have to take yourself serious. And so do your homework, do your research, and then go for it. And, and understand and, and, and know that it's okay to be told no. You're going to be told no more than you're told yes. And so accept that notion. You know, be mature about that and just go for yours. And, and eventually you will get there. It won't happen, you know, overnight. But, you know, give yourself at least two years. That's what I say. One or two years. And, and it would you you will see change. You will see results. And so, um, yes, the pre-sale, back to that, it is available now. Uh, it's only $20. Uh, you can go to my website, differenceworld.net. Spelled D I F E R N T S W O R L D dot net, and you can just check out all our other stuff. I will uh, say up front uh, because I've been so focused on you know getting the book out and promoting it. I do apologize if you guys go to my travel blogs. I do have some uh, blogs posted and some pictures posted. I do apologize once I get you know over this hump with the book promotion and getting it out, then I will be get back to posting the pictures. So if you would like, Queen, you can go to my website and check out all my travel places that I've been I to. Definitely been to the Hamas of Jamaica. So you from one of those that. places I could tell. <laughs> and so <laughs> yeah, and so uh um that's just what we're about. And then also talking about those issues that I stated before and with this, this month being suicide prevention awareness, that's also what we're honing in on. So on my social media platforms, such as like YouTube and Facebook uh, and Twitter, that's where I post my blogs and stuff. And so again, go to my website, differenceworld.net. Get your order in now while the pre-sale is going, going. It does end. Uh, going, it's going to go about two weeks, and then afterwards, I'm going to shut it down, and then the prices is going to increase. Um, yes. We're going so, to put a link yeah. in. The, we're going to put a link up so you can follow Sister Queen here as yes. we support each other. So as Thank we you guys. wind down, <laughs> as we wind on this little segment, I just want to tell you something. I celebrate your achievement, your success. I celebrate you. You say I celebrate me, say you celebrate God because it's him. I, I can't celebrate take you because you're in the image of God. Okay, there we go. Gotta yeah, give, yes, can't honey, say that's what I get praise of God. God for me. It don't work for me. I don't feel so I celebrate you. Listen, <laughs> when I celebrate you, I celebrate God because you are in the image of God. Yes. So I celebrate every move that he allow you to make, every step, every hump, every hump that you are about to go over and every hump that you already survive. I celebrate yes. all of that. The success that he's about to pour into you, I celebrate that. So before we close on your segment, I would like to ask you, what I, I like to put one fun thing. 
Give us one fun fact we don't know about you. Because um, I could give you a fun question. I'm a goofy, I'm a comedian. I don't know, I'm a little comedian at heart. Okay, she's, she's trying. Right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people you say know. you need to be a comedian, but I don't. I wouldn't really be able to know do what they can do, like get on stage and make people laugh. I just this is just me. If you if you out of the professional mode, I'm really goofy acting and, and so you just goofy. <laughs> I love goofy it. As, as far as business mind too, like I'm 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 kind of both, you know, about my business, but then I'm also I like to have a little party afterwards. Like I take care of my business first, and then you know get to the party and afterwards. So. That's All right, I'm and we are going to ask for your social media information so we can follow you. And I just want to say thank you so much for gracing us here on this episode of the and Thank you for having me. Thank you. Let me take this time to remind you, you got a crown in your head, Queen, and you are rocking it well. And so thank you for having me. I'm so grateful to be on your show. And thank you for allowing me to share my story, my testimony, yes. and promote my book and my website, my business with you and your audience and everybody out there listening. Again, you know, thank you guys for having me and getting the time to know me. Uh, check out my website for more information and more of my social media handles. Again, it's different world.net um so when you come to difference world this is what you get you know you see what my third eye see so difference world come and learn all right Thank you for having I, me. Look, I always said there's a chair to my left that's the guest chair so right now you are now family so now you are welcome to come back anytime you wish yes. to come back because that's anytime the family you have me. right here Yes, anytime you have me. Whenever you, if you need a show, you need somebody to talk to about whatever subject you like, I'm here. Anything yes. Else, well, go to my website and book me as well. If you guys want me to come on your you know, website or your platforms or whatever, any other podcast to talk about issues that I've mentioned before, you guys can go to my website and you can book me. I'm free of charge, of course. I don't charge anything to talk about things that are passionate and matters to me. Yes. So go to my website and, and, and book me and I'll, I'll, we can do like a virtual link up and just talk and spread that conversation and, and continue to keep the ball rolling. And what we need in our community is talking about these issues in order to bring a systemic change that we need. And so if you'll have me, I'm all for it. <laughs> all righty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my audio interview I did with the lovely Miss Verona Willis Brown. Excuse me, she's a married woman, so I gotta put some respect on her. Miss Willis Brown. I, I had a good time on her podcast, the Are You Free Enough podcast. As you guys listen in, uh, talked about, of course, my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Talked about systemic racism, you know, energies and, and chakra healing, as you guys seen and heard. Um, and just had a, a very good time talking with her and do appreciate you know, her giving me the chance to come on. So I definitely want to return the favor, being that it is still Women's History Month. Uh, definitely, that's why I'm dropping all female podcast interviews. And so definitely showing her some love uh, by uh, giving her a shout out to her, as well as you guys be sure to check out her podcast. I dropped her information below. So click the link and show her some love, you guys. And so definitely, again, big shout out to Miss Verona for having me and just reminding her that she's a queen and she's rocking that crown on her head oh so well. And uh, if hope you guys enjoyed listening and, and um, please you know if you guys enjoyed it show me by liking sharing comment and subscribing definitely subscribing to my YouTube channel you guys I truly appreciate all the love and support that I am getting please keep it coming don't stop <laughs> you know um, and so be on the lookout next week I'll drop another podcast interview uh, for the ladies I think I'll do uh, I actually like I said back uh, when I dropped Pop Talk Topics podcast, I did two interviews with Miss Gabrielle, and so I'll be dropping the one I initially did on my I, I did in 2021. And so be on the lookout for that, you guys, next week. And that's why you guys gotta hit that notification bell. And so when I drop the content, you guys come into the difference well, and you come and learn about your girl, yeah. And speaking of. Go to my website and check out all my other social media handles. I got my Instagram. I got my Twitter. TikTok is coming, you guys. I'm trying to get it together. I don't want to put it out all half-assed and, and not knowing what I'm doing or look like not knowing what I'm doing. I hate that. 
and so uh, it's coming you guys so just bear with me check out all my other social media pages <laughs> while you wait uh, don't forget as well you can go uh, to my website differenceworld.net and you can get your copy of my uh, excuse me you can book me for any type of motivational speaking events you'd like for me to be a part of I'm free of charge you would just go to my website differenceworld.net as well as don't forget you can get my book what if a controversial paradigm shift off of my website differenceworld.net don't forget it was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America and I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations so again you guys be advised that this content is intended for a mature audience and so if you can't take this heat still come on to the kitchen just get you a little fire blanket you'll be okay that's the point of having these conversations that need to be had is I know that it's uncomfortable sometimes it's shameful it's embarrassing it's hurtful but there's power in, in healing in your past. And so talking about these issues and, and talking about ways where we can create systemic change, that's what this book is about. So again, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get your copy of What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, you guys. Thank you all so much. And uh, moving right along with the different train, you guys. What else we got going on? Tomorrow is Thursday. And so normally I do a movie review or a pop culture review. So I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. I know I uh, seen Magic Mike last dance uh, a couple uh, days ago. And so it was all right. And so maybe I'll do that for the ladies, you know. My, uh, um, my boy... Um, Channel Tating, you know, he, he's always in there doing his thing, putting on a show, <laughs> a little white chocolate, if you will. So, that's why, again, you guys got to hit that notification bell, and when I drop the content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn. Yeah? And so, what else we got, you guys, on the Difference Agenda? Hmm, let's see. I think that's pretty much all. We can go ahead and do our mental health check, you guys. You know, that's usually we do it at towards the end but it's the most important segment in my vlogs when i share and promote that's one of the main you know objectives with third eye entertainment and different for youtube channel is to push and strive for mental health wellness i don't give a damn if you man woman child adult you know, black, white, you know, straight, gay. I, I don't care, man. Any, every, any, and everybody out there that's going through any type of mental anguish, mental struggles, mental illness, you know, including myself. Uh, please know that it is okay to not be okay, but do not ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever that may means to you. You know, talking with a therapist, family member, a friend, church. Uh, getting involved with the community, volunteering, what, whatever that case may be that helps you, keeps you from going off the deep end or possibly taking anybody with you, do it. If you need or if you know anybody who may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you guys can call or text 988 or you can just text 741-741. And for those who would prefer to go online, you guys can visit mentalhealthishealth.us or 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. that like watching your girls' YouTube channel, shout out to you guys as well. Uh, definitely check out ncounseling.com. Again, that's spelled E-N-C. O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And again, remember you guys, although I am giving you these mental health resources, it is on you to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. And so lastly, don't forget whatever that you're going through, whatever trial and tribulation that may be, this too shall pass. You will get through it and you will conquer on and, and, and become a bigger and better, stronger person. So going off the deep end is not an option and it's not worth it. So don't do it. Okay? Now, with that being said, you guys, let's end it on a positive note in Difference World. Again, big shout out to Miss Verona for having me on her podcast, Are You Free Enough Podcast. Be sure to check her out uh, in the link below, as well as I hope you guys enjoy watching my interview with Miss Verona. And if you, or excuse me, not watching, but listening, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it, you can show me by liking, sharing, again, commenting, and definitely subscribing to my YouTube channel, you guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. Uh, and lastly, you know what else? Don't forget, you guys, 
whatever in life that you are feeling that you're destined for and you're meant for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and then it will surely come to you guys. Difference well. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author different. Go to differenceworld.net.